Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and I'm going to be talking to you about a really interesting technique that I recently found in Sony Vegas, and that's called parent-child compositing. So basically what that is, is it allows you to use one track to control multiple other tracks. And this is a very, very important and very useful technique. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is a very kind of generic thing that I'm going to be going over. Of course, you can use it in um, ma many other different situations, but I'm just going to be using these tracks to demonstrate how powerful this technique is. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and um, take this black texture that I flat found and add it, and I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more tracks, and one more should be good. So what what you need to do in this to use this properly is you need to have your parent track you want that to be completely empty so basically let's go ahead and add video tracks I had the wrong kind of tracks so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use some random video that I have it's Gears of War Gears of War Judgment. That's a good game, right guys? It's not. It's a very bad game. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this audio track by hitting U on the video and that ungroups the audio in the video. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this audio track. We don't need that. I'm going to go ahead and add this below. And here, So here's our basic setup. What I want to do is I want to have track 1 to be the parent and I want 2, 3, and 4 to be the children. So what I'm going to do is going to hit this button right here that says make compositing child. So I'm just going to hit that on all three. And it groups it underneath track one. And as you see on track one, you have these other options here, parent motion and parent composite mode. So basically whatever you do to this parent one, it's going to affect what happens on these other children. So to show you a bit more, I'm going to go ahead and move these around so you can see both of the tracks at once. So I'm going to go to track motion and resize this just a little bit. So let's say we have this one up here, right? And we have this random chrome texture, a little smaller. That looks good. And then the last one do the same thing but actually here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move this up top and then I'm gonna move this track is gonna be actually on top of the the uh, darkness there the random chrome I don't know why I'm doing that I just decided that I wanted to do that and of course if you're doing some kind of overlay of these layers here, you can always add a 2D shadow to give it a little more uh, realism or a 2D glow, which that looks really bad, so you would want to mess with it. I change the color a little bit. Let's see what would look better. It looks like it does not update in real time, so what I'm going to do is get rid of that, because I don't want that. And... Then let's actually move this down a little bit. Um, 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 um. I don't know why that's not changing at all. I don't not. I do not want to see that watermark. That is that is the goal of this. So let's. I don't know why. I'm not sure why there's two here. Okay, well that's fine. We'll leave it. We'll leave. We'll leave it alone like that. So the next thing, um, let's go ahead and show you what you can do with this. So now, like I said before, you have this parent motion option on the parent track. So if we go ahead and click on that. Now this will control both of these tracks or all three of these tracks. So if I move it this way, you see that all three tracks will move. So this is very useful in something where you may want to, I, I could see this being used in intros, maybe you have like a gear or something, and or you'll have like um, some video tracks going by and you want 
you want to control multiple things at once without having to keyframe individually and match up the keyframes, which is extremely annoying. So just for example, let's go ahead and go out to about 10 seconds um, and add a keyframe. About there should be good. So if we go ahead and play this back, you can see very slowly that all three of these tracks are moving at the same time to the other side of this video track. And we're not doing that by moving each of the tracks, we're doing that by controlling this parent track. And it's very easy to do and it's very powerful. So hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies.